champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting controversy. Well. <laughs> experienced anything quite like this before what's what's it like from a player's point of view being on a bus well, I love buses yeah no, 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 it, it, yeah it's great to have everyone come out and, and celebrate turnout's absolutely crazy you know I would never expected these many fans coming from the stadium the journey into town it just shows how much of a big like how massive the supporters are for the club and how big how big of the fan base that they've got you know, we always want to want to win things you know and give ourselves you know the like we're ambitious we're an ambitious group of boys you know and as I've come here that's all that's, the talk's been about you know I'm the ambitious so yeah we're delighted delighted for me, it kind of was expected because that's why I joined the club. Like, um, I joined the club to, to get promoted, win the league, and obviously the JPT is a little bonus. But I joined the club because I knew it was a big club like this, and it has all the support, and it has it's a big city which deserves success. And obviously, uh, we've we've managed to do that this season, and it's been a, a few years coming for for the fans. So um, yeah, we're enjoying every moment with them. I don't think I'm ever going to have a season like it. Um, I hope I do, but I hope we all do, but um, I don't think we'll have quite have a season like it, to be honest. Let's see the restaurant there, that's where it all began. Bonding. Bonding. Well, Keith, how special are these moments? You don't get to do this every year, do you? <laughs> no, you certainly don't. It's a wonderful occasion, I think, for the players and the fans and everyone involved. I think defining moments would clearly be the Johnson's final at Wembley. But for me, it's also beating Swindon 3-0 at Ashton Gate. I think it's a defining moment. The players were clearly worked very hard. You could see them tiring. And I thought they lifted themselves fantastically. And for me, that was a definitive moment. It's been a phenomenal uh, turnout this morning. People, I mean, the Suns brought people out as well, but uh, I mean, they came out for Bristol City Football Club and to recognise the success we've had, it's been a fairy tale season. You know, two trophies, some fantastic results, and uh, you know, a great way to sign off and uh, go into the summer and then look forward to the championship. So, how special is this squad compared to ones you've been part of in the past? Um, I think it's tough, one. <laughs> tough one really, because 
So I've, I've been I've been lucky. I've been in some really good squads, and they're usually the ones who who have had success. I don't know whether you like the lads because you do well with them or you do well because you like the lads, but um, it seems to go hand in hand, and it's certainly the case here. I think there's a right from the outset. There's been a really good team spirit, and that's certainly aided us over the course of the year. Well, Steve, is this just the icing on the cake at the end of an amazing season? Yeah, I think this is what the nine months is all about. Really, you know, winning. And then, and then having these these moments afterwards, you know, we had it at Wembley, where we had 30, 40 minutes after the game, and we had it obviously after the game on Sunday, and uh, you know, this is what it's all about: these celebrations and what it brings to a city. Mm. And for the players as well, it's it's a young group as we always talk about, and yeah. and for them to experience this early in their careers, that must be huge for them. Well, I've said that all along, really. You know, it's it's key that you experience success like this, whether it's as a young manager or whether it's as a player, because. You will remember these, you know, these days now there's camera phones, so a lot of the lads have been filming everything, so they'll remember these times and I'm sure they'll look at them, proud moments with their family and then, you know, just when you're tired in the 85th minute when you're going forward in your career, you just remember these moments because you want them again. This year, to virtually nobody could beat us, and that's been a great testimony to all these players behind me. And I've a big thank you to them. There's one person, though, that uh, has already been mentioned, but needs mentioning again, because there's no doubt he's lifted this club off the floor, taken it to new heights, and hopefully we'll take it to new heights ahead. So I'm going to ask Steve Cottrell to come forward, please. turned around but it is vitally important that we go forward again we can only do that in numbers the, the one thing I've been very very proud of this season if you wouldn't mind being quiet a minute I might finish and just and just finally if you could just sing my name a lot louder than you did the choice before I'm going to leave you off goodbye And from the bottom of my heart, and with an immense amount of power, just thank you all. Thank you, Bristol City. Thank you, Bristol City. For all See you next summer. Have a great summer. Thank you very much. We booked him to have his operation fairly soon. Thanks to you. So, um, I just, um, Oscar. I know you're very shy and retiring. You don't like speaking much in public. Is, is there anything you'd like to say? Thank you very much. 
Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it.